The latest on Hong Kong where you are, thousands of COVID positive children were separated from their parents. The government is now saying they will prevent such separations. OK, this is a story that we've been following very closely here at CNN um, because of a very strict policy that Hong Kong has for isolating patients, uh, for, for, for isolating COVID patients. Uh, we know that COVID positive children, even infants, have been separated from COVID negative parents. Earlier this week, a local charity called Mind Hong Kong issued a statement. They said 2,000 children under the age of 10 have been separated from their parents because of this policy. Mind Hong Kong also accused the Hong Kong government of child abuse. Uh, we approached the Hong Kong government and the hospital authority for a statement. This is a statement that we received from them saying in part, quote, even for parents or carers who tested negative for COVID-19, we will seek the agreement of the Center for Health Protection so that the public hospitals can also accommodate their request for accompanying the pediatric patient subject to availability of isolation capacities, unquote. Now, it appears that this policy has been reversed. It was a very convoluted statement. We are still trying to find clarity from the hospital authority, from the chief executive's office, from the Hong Kong government. But the damage has been done. The damage has been done in the form of the mass exodus that we've witnessed in the last few months. Thousands of people leaving Hong Kong, many families leaving, citing the threat of family separations. The damage has been done to the families who've been separated. One father told me that he and his wife were separated from their one-and-a-half-year-old son for seven days as he was undergoing COVID-19 treatment. They were not able to talk to him, even FaceTime the small child during that time, and he is now showing signs of PTSD. He is irritable. He's having nightmares. He doesn't want to let go of his mom, even at nighttime. For the parents who have been victimized by this policy in Hong Kong, the damage has been done. Linda. Absolutely heartbreaking that that can possibly happen. Christy Lustav in Hong Kong for us. Thanks very much. Thank you.